Hi guys, I just want to take some time. I'm going to record a couple of um, books that I would have read aloud to you if we were in the classroom, but because we made a quick switch to do some at home school to uh, this week, I want to read some books to you while we're at home so you can listen, listen to them. This book is called Hooray for Teeth. And it goes along with the yes, no questions that I'm asking you at our Google Meets today. I had our Google Meet with our morning class and I'm gonna have our Google Meet very soon with our afternoon class. But I wanted to take a few minutes to read this book. It tells us some true information about teeth and it's a lot of information um, I know that you guys already know about teeth. So here we go. Many living things have teeth. Elephants, zebras, and cows do. Crocodiles, fish, and apes do too. Cats and dogs and lions, hyenas, giraffes, and sheep do. A very special person has teeth too. That person is you. This is gonna be in our yes, no questions. A shark has many rows of teeth, and that's a question that I asked you, because people have two rows, a top row and a bottom row. But sharks have a couple of rows of teeth, so that when they bite into something and if a tooth falls out, another tooth moves right into its place. A shark has many rows of teeth. The first row stands up straight, the next row lies flat. If a shark loses a tooth in the front row, one of the teeth from the back row fills the empty space. A shark gets new teeth throughout his entire life. You have one row of teeth on the top and one row of teeth um, on the bottom in your mouth. Snakes have teeth that curve back towards their throat. The rattlesnake has two long, sharp teeth. These teeth are called fangs. Fangs have holes in them. Poison comes out of the holes when a rattlesnake bites another animal. You don't have any fangs that have poison in them, do you? I don't think so. Your teeth stand straight up and down, so yours don't curve. You don't have fangs that curve or have poison. Thank goodness. This is the question that will be in your yes-no collection today. Beavers, rats, and mice have teeth that grow all the time. These animals use their teeth to gnaw wood, bark, and nuts. This wears down their teeth so that their teeth stay short. So one of the questions I asked you today is, um, do they chew, do beavers, rats, and mice chew on wood because they're trying to make art projects? Or is it for a different reason? And it's really because their teeth don't ever stop growing, so they chew on things to keep them short. The teeth of a walrus grow all the time too, but the walrus doesn't gnaw on wood, so his teeth get really, really long. These teeth are called tusks. The walrus uses its tusks to pull its huge body out of the water. And that's another question I asked you for yes, no. And it is true. They really can do that with those strong teeth. Your teeth don't grow all the time, but you do get two sets of teeth during your life. Baby teeth, which is what you have now. You have your first set of teeth as a pre-K student. And grown-ups have grown-up teeth. So we had baby teeth when we were little, and now we have our whole new set of grown-up teeth. Different types of teeth are used for different things. Square, sharp teeth in the front of the mouth are called incisors. They're good for biting the food. Long, pointy teeth called canines are used for tearing your food up. And then flat teeth in the back of your mouth are called molars, and they're used for grinding. So you do have different types of teeth, and each different type of tooth has a different kind of a job for chewing your food. Some animals, horses, giraffes, and sheep, have large flat teeth because they only eat grass. They don't need the sharp teeth that tear up meat. Plants are hard to chew. If these animals had small teeth like yours, their teeth would wear out quickly. Some animals have two or more kinds of teeth. Dogs and cats have incisors for biting into their food, and they have molars for chewing their food. They also have canines for tearing their food. Lions and tigers have incisors, molars, and canines too. And you have incisors, canines, and molars. 
These teeth help you eat many different kinds of foods, meats, fish, fruits, and vegetables. Right now, you probably have 20 teeth in your mouth. You have 10 on the top and 10 on the bottom. So pre-K students have mostly have 20 teeth, 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom. Grown-ups have more than that. As you grow older, your baby teeth will fall out. <gasps> Why is that? It's really not a bad thing. It's so that we're making room, your baby teeth are making room for your grown-up teeth. Here's what happens. Inside your gums, grown-up teeth grow underneath your baby teeth. The roots of your baby teeth slowly start to dissolve. As the roots dissolve, the baby teeth become loose and wiggly. You can wiggle it with your finger or your tongue. A grown-up tooth is pushing up under the loose tooth. It keeps pushing and pushing and soon the baby tooth will fall out. This will make room for the new grown-up tooth. The new tooth will be bigger than the baby tooth was. When all your new teeth come in, you should have 32 teeth and that's what grown-ups have. They have 16 on the top and 16 on the bottom. You will have all your grown-up teeth for a very long time, so you should take good care of them. And we've been talking about how to do that. You should brush your teeth after you eat. You should use dental floss at least once a day. That's the string that gets the food out uh, from in between your teeth. Don't eat too many foods that are filled with sugar like um, lollipops and candy. Eat healthy snacks like fresh fruits and vegetables and cheese and nuts. Visit your dentist two times a year. Our coloring paper told us that yesterday. Drink plenty of milk and water. Those are good healthy drinks for you. The milk gets your teeth and your bones to grow strong and the water doesn't have any sugar in it. If you do all this, you will have healthy teeth and a bright smile for a very long time. And that's it. That's true facts about teeth. I'm going to read a couple more books um, to you today. I'll record a few more videos. Our afternoon class got to hear the story, but I don't think our morning class got to hear it. And it's about a brother and a sister who go for a visit to the dentist. We've learned that some of our pre-K friends have been to the dentist once or maybe a couple times, and some haven't gone yet, but will probably go sometime soon. So that's it for Hooray for Teeth. I'll read a couple more um, healthy teeth books for you today, and I'm gonna read some Dr. Seuss books to you because we would be reading those in school. Um, as well. And we know it was Dr. Seuss's birthday yesterday. Have a good day, guys.